This nail is made of fiberglass. Keep watching to find out how to achieve this look. Hello, I'm Anastasia and today I will need fiberglass fabric, bodybuilder cover pink worn by NSI gel, base coat by Cupa, bond enhancer by NSI which is the same as dehydrator and non-acid primer by NSI as well, top coat by the nail place. Now let's get started. I have nail, I already removed the surface shine, I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer and a thin coat of the base coat. This is the sock of base coat by the way. Make sure that the layer is thin and it covers the entire nail. Cure for 30 seconds in LED and then I take a thick consistency clear gel, apply it only right here on half of the nail plate and let's start adhering the fiberglass. So make sure that you cover the entire part because we need something to stick on these fibers. I will try to make something that looks like nail and this fiber particularly in this video is not cosmetic fiber and I'm aware of all the consequences so I'm just doing this experiment by myself. But I researched some information and figure out that there's no such thing as allergic reaction to fiberglass because it's made of glass and people cannot be allergic to glass. Okay, then I cure for one minute and let's cut off the excess length. I think we will do the medium length this time. Man, it's actually hard to cut the even line, they're so thin. Okay, so now I will apply cover pink gel and my goal is to connect those fibers together because now I have some gaps between them and at the end we want a nice solid nail. So I decided to try this new gel by Dance Legend. The color looks nice. Well, now you can see that the small particles of fibers start to stretch with my brush, so you need to be careful because they're like hair, they tend to be everywhere, so I need to use a very gentle light touch. Okay, now let's cure it for 30 seconds in LED and continue working. So I will apply this gel now and create the structure. So from this moment this application is no different than we would apply gel if we had a tip adhered to the free edge of the nail. Well, this gel is definitely not the most comfortable to work with, but I think we will figure this out. And also I will try to fill in all the gaps on the free edge because it's rather thick, so with thick consistency gels it's a bit easier. And we also need to pinch the nail, so now I will cure it for 15 seconds and oh my god, it was actually pretty hot. I had some heat spikes while curing that. Okay, now let's create the structure itself. So the first layer was like we were creating the solid surface of the nail. Now you see that the free edge is already almost smooth. Now we are going to create apex as well as the whole structure of the nail. On this video I am trying this fiberglass for the very first time in my life, I swear, and I have no idea why on earth I decided to try this gel for the first time as well, because it doesn't feel comfortable at all. So besides that <laughs> discomfort from the fiberglass, I'm also struggling with this gel application. Okay, now cure for about 10 to 15 seconds before we can pinch and oh my god, so many heat spikes, this gel burns. So I pinched it a little, cured for the remaining one minute and now I'm switching to the gel you saw at the beginning of the video, which is NSI Bodybuilder Cover Pink Warm. I'm switching to my comfortable gel because I just can't stand this heat anymore and my nails are not super thin or overfiled at the moment, so I think it's not okay. And since the surface is not smooth already, it's all bumpy and uneven, obviously it's not possible to apply another gel on top which will be very even, so well we will have some imperfections here and I will need to file more than usual. I feel like I'm back to beauty school or something. This is definitely one of my worst hard gel applications ever. 
Okay, so I'm just uh, making sure that I have enough product on the apex area on the side walls because when the nail is all uneven, it's kind of hard to tell if you have enough product. But you need to take a look and make sure there are not any spots where the product is super thin or transparent because when you will pinch the nail, the curve might turn out uneven and we don't want that. Okay, so I'm almost done. Now cure for 15 seconds, pinch. It actually pinches pretty easy. I like that. Now I will put a plastic clamp and cure for the remaining one minute. And now the nail is cured. I remove the sticky layer and now let's file the nail. Well, for now it looks like a regular gel nail that wasn't applied very well. So first I file the length. This will be the regular square nail and we can already see the small fabrics on the free edge. And actually I didn't seal the fiberglass underneath and there was the reason for that because I want to try to file it off with this carbide bead. And I have no idea if this is the right way to do this or no, but I just wanted to do an experiment and check out if this is okay. So my goal is to file off this fiberglass to get rid of it, so basically at the end we will have just the hard gel nail. Well, there will be some fiberglass remaining on the nail plate, but not much. So the idea is like we used this product to create the structure, kind of like we use forms and then we take them off. So here fiberglass was basically like a temporary form that we removed. Well, it's not very comfortable to file it, but since I didn't seal it underneath, it's not too hard as well. I'm trying to make this surface underneath the nail smooth and file off all the fibers. Now let's file the surface. I am using 180 grit file and this filing will take a while because the application was far from good. So let's just file until we reach the perfect surface. The nail turned out not that bad actually, so I already filed and buffed it, cleaned the dust and now let's seal it with the top coat and take a look from the different views. So I'm using this top coat by the nails place and it's pretty good, it shines and this shine remains for a few weeks. So besides applying it on the top, I will definitely seal it underneath because there was some filing in this area as well. 
cure the top coat for 30 seconds in LED and do not forget to cure it underneath as well because we were sealing there and here we go. Well, actually at this point this nail looks like a regular sculptured hard gel nail to me. Not much difference. Okay, now let's try again and now with this knowledge and experience that I have from the previous nail, I will try to do things a little bit differently. So the nail is prepped, dehydrator, primer, thin layer of base coat, cure for 30 seconds in LED, do not forget to always apply base coat first, and then once again thick consistency clear gel so we can adhere the fibers and let's get started. So I probably need to switch to a dark background so you can see it better. Yes, much better. So I'm using tweezers to lay them out one by one. When I was doing this nail I didn't have special fiberglass fibers that come specifically prepped for the application on nails yet, that's why I'm doing all this. Well, I can say it's not actually hard to do this, you just put them one by one and make sure that they cover the surface and it's actually not a problem if you have some gaps between them. Cure for 30 seconds, now let's cut the excess length. Let's do the square again because we need to focus on the application this time and this time I will be using the gel that I am 100% comfortable with, the NSI Bodybuilder Cover Pink Warm and I like the color by the way. Okay, so when I try to apply it, you see some of the small parts of the fibers try to twist, to move, so I will stretch it towards the cuticle first because this is where the fibers are directed and then I will cover those that are located on the free edge like this. Okay, so now no problem with the twisting and messing it up. Cure for 30 seconds and now all the fibers are still, well almost, they're not trying to separate or twist anymore and now we can comfortably continue working and I will apply gel on the whole surface and like we usually work with hard gel, the first step is always trying to achieve a smooth surface kind of like foundation of the nail. So this gel is medium consistency but it's still pretty easy to apply it on these fibers and to connect them together as you can see. So you don't even need a super thick consistency gel for it. When I was doing the first nail I was really worried if I will leave some gaps, some holes between the product, but now I realize it's not a big of a problem. I mean you can always fill it in later with the gel because gel is the product that makes it just easier to work with. Okay, now cure in LED for one minute and now let's create the structure. So first I always apply a thin layer on the whole surface so it will be easier to do the further application and after that I will take more amount of gel and create the apex, the cuticle area and so on. So I decided to turn the finger around as it does feel more comfortable and it looks like I'm usually holding the client's finger, I always start from the cuticle, press and then basically I'm working like a printer, back and forth, right and left, filling all the areas that I need. Do not go too close to the sidewalls as we already have some product there and do not forget to leave more product in the center because we need it there where the apex is and go all the way towards the free edge. Now at the end I take a look on the sidewalls, if they're not filled in I fix it and just try to fix all the imperfections. Okay, now cure for 30 seconds and NSI pinches a little differently and pinch, wow it's so easy to pinch it. You can use plastic gel clamp as well, cure for remaining one minute and the nail is cured. Now let's remove the sticky layer and do not forget to remove it underneath. Last time I didn't do that and it felt kind of sticky when I was filing and this time I want to file off these fibers underneath again. 
Well, the main reason I would like to do that is because the fiber I am using, it's kind of hard, so the ones that is usually used for nails is way softer, so like I said, I just want to get rid of it as fast as possible and just to have a solid hard gel nail. Almost done and now let's file the surface. Luckily this time I do not have to file a lot because I was using the gel I'm comfortable with and I just know how to build the structure. And by the way I'm not complaining about that gel, I'm not saying it's bad or something, it just probably my lamp was too powerful for it and I'm not used to this consistency as well so I personally didn't like that. Now let's buff the surface. I'm using a 220 buffer, clean the dust, and I think I need to file a little bit more underneath. I'm using the needle-shaped bit. I just want to go as far as possible. And do not worry, it doesn't hurt or anything. I'm working on myself so I can feel everything. And now I will seal it underneath as well to have it all smooth and shiny. And of course, we are going to apply this top coat on the top as well. I think this second nail turned out better. Well, actually, if you look at the final result, they both are not bad, it just we wasted too much time on the first one because of this gel confusion and I definitely filed more than ever. Now cure for one minute in LED and we are done. Let me know, guys, what do you think? I personally think that this is a great way to create sculptured nails if you have troubles fitting the form, because this product, fiberglass, can help you to skip that part. But unfortunately, it will not work with all kinds of nails, let's say with ski jump nails or nails growing downwards. Have you tried fiberglass already? If you did, please share your thoughts and ideas. Do not forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you and see you in my next one. Bye!